What's going on guys, Wolfie here. And I've got a bit of a different video today. I'm really excited for. So, I was looking around online and I've always had an obsession with hovercrafts. And I found this website called modelhovercrafts.co.uk. I'll have a link down in the description. And it is owned by a company called Palaform that makes kits for remote control hovercrafts. So, my partner, my Mrs. Emily bought me a kit as an early birthday present and I've just finished it. Well, I say finished it. I still have a few bits and bobs that I need to do. It's not the best build ever. The kit is great. I'm just not very good at building. But I'm going to show you where I got to. I did a quick test the other day. I'll show you that in a second. And then uh, I'm going to go take it for a proper test in a minute, which I'm looking forward to. So yeah, let me just show it to you guys. So here it is. This is the Palaform X500. Um, comes in kit form. You need to add your own electronics. Uh, they do sell electronics that you can get, which is what I've got there. Um, you will need your own transmitter and receiver though. Um, but yeah, this is this thing is awesome. As I said, it's called the X500. Uh, I've not finished it yet. It's all functioning, but I have a cab to that goes up on top there that I may or may not put on there. Um, I've made my own dodgy waterproofing for the receiver using some old rice pots and hot glue. But as long as it keeps the water off there while I'm driving on water, it'll be fine. Got a six bladed prop. Got a 1,400 kV outrunner motor there running on 3s and from the quick test run i had the other day it ran absolutely great um i was making a build video on this but my phone's broken and i lost all the footage so unfortunately i can't make the full build video but i will show you guys what i think this kit is amazing. As long as you're able to actually build stuff half decently, it, it it was it was a lot of fun to build. Just took quite a lot of time with me having kids and having to do it bit by bit, but it was absolute great fun. So just for size comparison, I've got a 110 scale drift car there, sort of standard touring car size, and you can see it's a bit bigger than that so if you want to go by car scale size i'd say it's probably a one ninth it's not quite as big as a one eighth car but it, it as you can see this is one of their smallest kits the, this is a 500 size they do make a 400 size which i think would probably be around the same size as a 110 car and they do like 600 size which is the one i'm going to go for next um but yeah enough talking I'm gonna go grab my battery and my transmitter and then I'm gonna go for a walk and test this out properly. I'm gonna have to take this to the pond as soon as possible. <laughs> yes, man, that's awesome. All right, guys, so we're here at the spot and honestly, I'm pretty nervous about testing it in the water. So I'm gonna give it another quick test here. Make sure everything looks okay. And then I guess it's time to go test it on water. 
Oh, look at those ducks. All right, keep your fingers crossed for me, guys. I'm gonna turn the throttle trim up a bit so that it always has a bit of air going through the skirt. And uh, I'm really nervous. I, I do not want to have to go into that. So turn the throttle trim up a bit. Pulling to the right a lot. Oh, yeah, it's really pulling to the right for some reason. My steering trim's off, I think. Oh, yeah, you can see it's really off. Yeah, it's not inflating properly. The right side of the bag is not inflating as much as the left. I'm going to bring it back in and try and Just to balance a bit and see if that helps at all. Uh, it seems to always be pulling to the right a bit when I give it throttle. I'm trying to adjust the steering a bit more. Don't know if that's because of torque roll or what, but. Turn the gyro on a bit, see if that helps us all. bit of tweaking to do but it's riding well Yeah, whenever I give it proper throttle, it pulls to the right. I'm not giving it any steering input there. Gyro off, see what happens.
feel the windmill thaw. I think it might be a bit tail heavy. Well, I know it's a bit tail heavy. That might be why it's having issues. I'm not gonna drive on grass, but I don't wanna run out of batteries on the water. Cause it is only a 5,000, uh, 650 milliamp hour battery. So, give it a quick drive around here see how it does steering to the left now stuck on the grass There's too much camera on this track. Need a lot more room than this if I'm driving it on concrete, I think. Yeah. I don't have enough room here. Oh yeah. No battery, good thing I brought it in then. Well, considering it was just the first test, I'm happy with that. Just have to do some balancing, try and get more weight up to the front so it doesn't sink the back end in. Should be working fine after that. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with how that went. Um, it was very tail heavy because with the electronics and everything at the back. So I think when I was flooring it, the back end was dipping down and the torque roll was making the right hand side to dig into the water so i'm going to make uh, an extension for the battery so that i can have the battery further up front which hopefully will solve that issue so um, that's going to be it for this video but i'm going to make that extension and then we'll go out and test it out again and then once i've got everything working how i want it to then i'll uh, think about putting the cab on and all that kind of stuff but yeah hope you enjoyed that video i'm going to leave links below to my facebook group uh to the website where i got this from uh, from palaform so go have a look if you're interested they have a lot of kits um, they have huge ones they have a nitro one um as i said though you have to provide all the electronics and power um they do provide kits for the electronics if you do go for the nitro one you'll need to get your own engine and stuff um but yeah uh, awesome for the price they don't cost much their cheapest kit which is this one the x500 for the kit with no electronics it was 48 pounds of delivery so very cheap um i think next i'm going to go for what's called the sirius 600 which is a bit bigger than this it has a fan on the front to provide lift and the fan on the back just provides thrust so uh once i've got this all balanced out uh I think maybe I'm gonna have to get that as a Christmas present for myself. We'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a like, comment if you have any questions. And yeah, see you in the next video.